The radial femoral pulse test is a really good one to add into your cardiovascular screening tool. We're going to be looking for any sort of significant delay between the radial and the femoral pulse on one side. Now, if there is a delay, it could be indicative of some cardiovascular issue. So the first thing is we find the radial pulse. Then we're going to find the femoral pulse. Now, the fe femoral pulse sits halfway between the pubic symphysis and the ASIS, roughly where your trouser pocket are. Now, we're going to palpate the radial and the femoral pulse at the same time, and we're looking for them to be equal. Doosh, 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 doosh. If there's any discernible discrepancy between the radial or the femoral pulse, doosh, 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 doosh. Now that could indicate there's a cardiovascular issue between sort of the two. Worst case scenario, we're looking at an issue with the aorta. The key thing guys is if you have a discernible difference between the radial and the femoral pulse, that is an immediate referral. We'd get that patient to see a medical professional straight away. Hopefully they'd be nice and equal. We can tick that off as part of our CV screening tools.